They go back to what we've been kicking up a fuss uh, about, and that is uh, what we perceive as preferential treatment of one tour operator. Never mind it's a tour operator from abroad, it's a tour operator, uh, because we certainly welcome uh, investments in Belize um, at, at the Nohok Chen uh, site, archaeological site, uh, popularly known as Jaguapa, but uh, more appropriately Nohok Chen, in which uh, Belizeans do not have access to a part of the system when the river is flooded, but the other operator does. And the rappelling uh, facility, which was constructed, uh, we consider very dangerously so, above the heads of others floating into the cave system. We now have found out that, in fact, authority has said that they do perceive uh, a danger, a risk. Uh, well, we've been saying that from day one. And um, we see the continued rappelling going on. Uh, with no let up. We know that uh, a powerhouse group visited uh, the area about three weeks ago. Uh, we are very, very upset over the director of the National Institute of Culture and History saying publicly on national television that uh, the river only floods uh, about twice a year. I mean, for this year, it's, it's flooded 14 times so far. And prophetically so, on the very day they went there, the river was flooded. So every time that river floods, hundreds of Belizeans do not get to take food home but one operator does. Uh, we have precedents. We have the Chechemha situation far out west. We have the Barton Creek situation. We have the ATM situation, the same caves from the Hummingbird Highway. And then again, we had a situation donkeys years ago, right there at, at, at Nohok Chen, which were all attended to by the particular authority. So why doesn't the authority attend to this one? If, if we have a situation where one operator can access a part of a national patrimony where hundreds of Belizeans cannot because a river is flooded, that is, that is abominable, that, that is terrible. But it goes to, to a culture in Belize that has got to change. It has got to change because we cannot any longer live with it. And that is this imbalance. And especially so that native Belizeans don't get to eat, but somebody from abroad gets to eat, come on, you know, that needs to change.